Hello everyone! Um, so today we are going to be making some binder divider slash cover collages. Um, I was actually originally planning on doing this video as kind of like a silent chill collage with me moment, but then I got a comment on my last drawing photo cards video that asked if I could do a tutorial on how I make my um, collages. So I thought I would run you through it a little bit. <laughs> Um, I need to make one for my Enmix collection, and I want to make a new one for the cover of my Enhypen binder. So, yeah, that's what we are going to be doing today. Obviously, Enmix only has one album to choose from, so I have one of their light version albums here. And then I have extra copies of every single one of Enhypen's albums, but because I'm trash. <laughs> trash. But... I um, wasn't really sure which one to pick. I decided ultimately on doing the Odysseus version of um, Dimension Dilemma. Um, I picked the Odysseus version because I think the photo book is cute and my inside cover is already from the Charybdis version, which is my favorite version. So we chose Odysseus. Um, I could have picked the Scylla version, but it's too dark. I don't know. I, since my binders are white, I prefer the cover to have like a light color scheme. But anyway, yeah, that is what we were going to do. Um, obviously, if you want to make a collage for your K-pop binders or for whatever else, you don't need like extra albums to rip up. I just happen to have a lot of extra albums. Um, great alternatives, obviously, using like Pinterest or Google to find pictures or um, on Twitter a lot of the time. Fans will... Um, take their extra photo books and I'm guessing they probably rip them apart to get the full picture but they will upload scans of the photo books so like if you searched and hype in Odysseus photo book scan or something like that you could probably find the photo book uploaded there then you can print out those pictures you know whatever you want but I just used extra photo books because I have so many and I can't get rid of them <laughs> no one wants these like they're so heavy so they cost a lot to ship and yeah Kind of an L, but <laughs> I just have a lot of them. The amount of like extra K-pop albums that are shoved in my closet right now is really bad. I should probably stop buying so many extra copies, but I can't seem to control myself. So <laughs> yeah, that is that. Um, then you could use cardstock. Um, I usually like reinforce the pages with cardstock in the back, but I make the collages on printer paper. So I have that. Obviously letter size for like one um, page protector in your binder for like a divider page and then if you um, overlap two pages you can make the size of like the full um, front of your binder and then I have a um, box cutter knife because when you're uh, ripping a photo book um, sometimes it's easier just to go straight for the seam to get the pictures out so um, that's why I use this. And then for actually cutting the pictures out, I use scissors. Some people prefer like a ripped edge look on their collages, um, but I, for the most part, don't. I'll kind of explain to you like when I do and don't like that look, but personally, it just like, it's a bit too messy for me. <laughs> I like things to be a little bit like cleaner. So not that it's bad if you like ribbed edges, if that's your thing, like that's cool. I just personally don't like them. Um, and then, I use glue tape. You could use like a glue stick or like just roll up washi tape or whatever. I use glue tape um, because you can just like roll it on the picture and apply it really easily and um, a lot of glue tape can be like repositionable like this one so if I don't like the way a picture ended up sitting I can like pull it up and stick it down again. Just my preference. Also if you use a glue stick it can cause the paper to wrinkle and I don't really like that. But yeah, um, I feel like that's everything for my supplies. So now let's just look at some binder collages that I have that I like. So you can kind of see like what I'm into, I guess. Okay, so here we have my Enhypen binder. Obviously the cover is plain, which I find depressing. So that's why we are going to be changing this. But on the inside, I do have a cover collage. Um, so... <laughs> I obviously collect three members of Enhypen, and this is the Charybdis version of Dimension Dilemma's photo book. That's my favorite version. So I use the three members I collect using like different graphic design elements from their album. 
For example, they had these like handwritten letters and these Polaroid pictures. And I took those and I kind of layered them to a way that satisfied me to make the collage more dynamic. Um, I also really like to use um, lyrics pages because again, they add like some dimension to what you're doing. Usually like adding text um, helps to break up all the pictures so it doesn't feel like too overwhelming. Um, Overside Dreaming is my favorite and hyphen song. <laughs> So of course I used <laughs> that lyric page. Um, I, not to go on my Upper Side Dreaming bullshit again, but it's literally their best song. People always say their best song is Fever or Let Me In or Polaroid Love. And I'm like, no, you're all wrong. It's literally Upper Side Dreaming, shut up. <laughs> not to invalidate your opinion, but my opinion is correct. And Upper Side Dreaming is the best song ever created. Anyway. <laughs> Then on top of that, I used some of the stickers from the album. So these ones are their name and these ones of like the album details and whatever. Um, because again, that adds some more elements that aren't pictures so that it's broken up a little bit better. Um, and yeah, as you can see, I prefer to cut out the edges because then I feel like it just like everything kind of looks more like put together to me. Um, but that is my Enhypen one. Then Enmix are in my Chang binder, which I use these um, like screens from the WeGo music video that their company uploaded after promotions were over. Um, and I put them into Illustrator, I think. So I could give them like a border and then I cut them out. This is the one that was on the cover before, but I decided to switch it to this one instead to change things up a little bit. Um, and they just kind of look like posters and I think they're really cute. So I don't need a cover for this binder, but, um, we are going to be making a collage for my end mix section. Um, here is my first cover page for Chang. As you can see, I did use ripped edges for the text. Um, luckily the nine way ticket, el the nine way ticket album has a lot of graphic design elements like these tickets, these little like stamp things the notebook paper, whatever. So you can kind of make like a, a fun, like full look with it. Um, there aren't that many pictures in From Us's album, so there aren't like that many to choose from, I guess. But um, this is my favorite Chang look ever. So <laughs> I use these two pictures and then her ticket. And then I use the Promise lyrics as well as I think the We Go lyrics for parts where I needed something to fill in and stuck those around there. Um, and like, because these two pictures are opposite of each other and these are opposite of each other, it has some nice symmetry. So I feel like that helps make, make this look nice. Um, and then I also have a binder cover collage here, which I use the After Midnight version of Midnight Guest. Um, this one is not my favorite. There weren't like a whole lot of things to choose from in this album, if I'm being honest. Um, but I used like a group picture and a unit picture to contrast each other and then pictures of her. And then there were these little like lock and key things. And I used her unit song, Love Those Around, to, yeah, that's just what this one looks like. This one is not my favorite that I've made, but I just didn't feel like the Midnight Guest had a lot of like good stuff to choose from in terms of collaging. <laughs> Which is kind of unfortunate, um, but my Enmix collection is all the way back here after all of my Chang stuff. I'm collecting my top three for Enmix, but um, I think I'm going to make an OT7 cover collage because, I don't know, I'm not convinced that I'll be collecting my top three forever. I think it might change just to whoever I eventually decide my bias is. Um, I don't really know who my bias is right now. Um, but I'm collecting Hewan, Ju, and Bei. Um, and yeah, I just really, like, I can't pick a bias. They're so sweet and fun. I, I like, absolutely adore them. They're so cute. Um, and that's why it's really hard for me to pick a bias. So for right now, I am just collecting my top three. Um, and it's not that hard since they just debuted, obviously, for me to collect my top three. <laughs> but yeah, let us start, um... Let's start with Enmix, I think, since I'm already talking about them, and we can kind of get into that collage. So I'm just going to start by picking out um, pictures that I want to use. 
from this photo book. I'm going to, oh my god, I forgot how reflective that is. You can see my mirror and my camera now. Oops. Okay, so here we are with the Admare album. I really want to call it Admare, but then Lily pronounced it as Admare, so I'm gonna say that it's probably Admare. Um, but there are, I think, three different concepts in here, or four. So there's these like close-up shots in the end, which I don't think I can really use, but there's this really um, colorful concept. And then there's this kind of darker concept. Yeah, so I think I'm going to use the more colorful concept just because I think these pictures would like look more fun together. <laughs> um, I mean, look at how cute that is, you know? Um, so yeah, oh no. Tsuwu and Hewan are back to back. Ugh, it's okay, <laughs> we'll figure it out. Um, I, let's see. So I probably won't use this back group picture. So there's that picture of Bay and that picture. Um, I think I like that picture more, but what's the other picture of Sodium? So you, yeah, I think, okay. So I think I'm going to use this picture for Bay. Um, a good way to choose your pictures based upon however many pictures you want to fit on your collage. For example, right now I'm trying to fit all seven members, so I have to think about how I can make all seven of them stick on a page. Um, if they're doing different poses or they're different like distances away from the camera, that can usually help. Um, for example, Bay is a bit closer up here, um, but Sol Yun is really close up here, and so her picture would be harder to fit in that collage. Um, so that's sort of a thing to consider. These are the two pictures of Chiwu. Um, and those are the... Well, I need to use this picture for sodium, so I'm going to take this one out. I like sort of entered a fan sign for them. I bought like seven albums to get their Make Star Round 2 paws because I'm absolute trash for them. <laughs> um, and I just decided that their Make Star Round 2 pops look really cute. They're in the pick and mix outfits. And I just wanted the full set and like they're holographic and whatever, you know? I'm going to justify my bad decisions like that. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was kind of, that was kind of the move. I guess we'll use this picture for kitchen. Um, but I needed the albums anyway because their regular album cards are going for pretty expensive right now because there are two and you only get one per album. <laughs> JYP literally running them like an SM group. Um, uh, let's see. So we have Lily. I like that picture more for Lily. And then who's on the other side of Ginny? Oh, it's a group picture. Um, I honestly would collect OT7 if I wasn't already collecting OT7 Billy. Um, just because I think they're so cute. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. I just absolutely love them. I think they're so funny. And they're just adorable. So I guess we're just leaving these pictures here. Um, I am going to take the lyrics of OO, I think. I actually probably prefer Tank out of the two, but... Um, OO's lyrics take up more space on the page, so... I think these ones will be better to use. I can get this to come out. Um, there we go. And okay, I think that's pretty much all I'm going to need from this album. So we have all of our pictures now. Um, and I'm going to keep them in this orientation so I can cut them out this way. Um, uh, yeah, so I think I'm just going to cut out their pictures. I think I'll probably want this one in the corner and then this one down here. So I need to kind of cut around that idea. Jeannie's picture and Ju's picture are on the bigger side. Maybe we won't use the group picture. 
Um, where's Ju's? Oh, Ju's other picture is on the back of Hillon. Yeah. So I think Ju's and she's so big and Ginny's so big are going to go like that. And then Lily and Kujin can kind of be next to each other. Bay can kind of overhang like this and she's lower down. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll really need the background for pretty much any of these, except I'll keep the background on Jews. So, oh, I just, I just dropped them off. <laughs> okay, I am going to cut these out now, and I'll just speed this up, so I'll see you again in a moment. Okay, so um, I have finished cutting everything out. Um, I would recommend keeping these scraps that you have like to the side because if there's a gap in your collage, you can usually kind of rip out a part of them to make a background. Um, but yes, <laughs> this is our selection for right now. So I don't know if we'll need the lyrics this time, but... Again, I want Jiwoo up in this corner, and I want Ginny in this corner. And then, um, as you can see, when they're, when a member's like sitting on something or interacting with an object, usually it's good to cut that out with them, because then like the picture will flow better, um, at least in my opinion. <laughs> Obviously, all of this is very subjective. I'm just sharing how I do these. Um, but, like, ultimately everyone's collages will look different because they are to your own style and your own, like, personal preferences. <laughs> um, but yeah. Let's see. Generally, try not to let members' faces get, like, covered up too much because, um, that'll, like, look weird, but with like big pictures like this, sometimes you can't really help it. Uh, hmm. This one's a bit difficult because there are so many of them and I'm trying to fit them on one page. Um, but I don't really, I just really like this concept, so I definitely wanted to use it if I could. Um, so let's put Hill on up here. Okay, like this. I think with the way that they're like three purple, I mean three blue. That, mm, I think that looks pretty good. So obviously I'll need to fill in a little bit of background there. Um, I'll just use this piece and stick it up there. Um, and yeah, that will pretty much be our collage. So. We did not need the lyrics or the group picture, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to move them kind of out of the way like that. And then we will stick Jiwoo down first. Okay. 
Um, obviously these pictures don't really need to be stuck like down to a perfect degree because they are going to get layered on top of and like in the end it'll look fine no matter what <laughs> even if they're not like stuck down perfectly so yeah that would be my my word of advice <laughs> you don't need to like have them so stuck down that they'll never move again because it doesn't really matter that much Okay, so there we have two's picture down. And then I am going to stick down that right there. Um, okay, and then Soyun was layered in the back the most after that, so she goes like right there. Okay, and then Hillon was right next to her. So we will put Hillon like right there. So there we go. Um, let's see, next, Kyujin was gonna go like there, right? Yeah. Um, and then Lily right there. So let's put Kyujin down. Well, Jenny's still right here. She can be moved down a little bit, so. Yeah, that's fine. Um, obviously, if the pictures are like overhanging, that like will usually work to your advantage because you can kind of cut off the extra unnecessary parts and then like it'll look like the edges are cleaner. Um, so we want there, right there. I always feel bad though when I'm doing these and I like turn it around to glue it. And I see like the member's face like cut apart on the other side because I'm like, no, I didn't mean it, I promise. <laughs> but finally, you can stick down Ginny. And we want Ginny like right there. Okay, now um, here is our collage. <laughs> um, I'm going to cut off the edges so that we can see what the final product looks like. Okay, so now we have finished cutting everything out. Um, and let's look at our final product. Oops. <laughs> okay, yes. So this is my um, Nmix collage. Sorry, there we go. This is my Nmix collage. So I have all seven members here. Um, I think it looks cute, personally. <laughs> I I do wish that the pictures were a bit more evenly sized because it does feel a bit like bottom heavy, but it's not like that big of a deal. Obviously, if there's a um, album concept I like more in the future, I can just switch it out <laughs> for something else. So now let's go into my binder here, to my index collection, um, and slide this bad boy in. Okay, so that is what that looked like. Um, <laughs> I think it turned out cute, I like it. So yeah, now I have a fun little divider before my MX collection. Um, and we can move on to my Enhypen binder. Okay, so this one is obviously going to be a little bit more complicated 
because I'm filling a much bigger space um, by doing like the whole cover. I have this one that I made like a really long time ago when I first started collaging and obviously like this looks really messy and I don't really like it but I'm going to use it to um, stick the two pieces of paper together since it is the right size and I don't feel like grabbing a ruler. <laughs> So we will just do that quickly. Um, you just want to overlap the two pieces of paper so that they will fit in the cover, but won't like, um, what am I trying, but won't like be too wide. There's like a very perfect size for this. There we go. So yeah, here's a cover that I made a long time ago of all seven of them. Obviously I tried to rip the edges and it ends up like making these weird cuts and I just don't really like the way that looks so that is why I have moved past that style personally um but this will fit in the front cover of my binder then we have to grab this other extremely reflective photo book um and work this out I am going to take out I'm guessing, oh, it's an extra J, oh, my beloved, my everythings, Look, they're so cute, but I'm living my life, okay, anyway, so <laughs> I'm going to use this sticker sheet too, um, and I'll keep out the lyric booklet in case we need it, and I'm going to stick everything else back in and close her up. Okay, so... Now let's check out this photo book. I'm again going to, um, I think do an OT7 one since it is for my cover. Um, it'll just look nicer if like they're all filling up the page. Um, I really like Enhybin's photo books because they have a lot of cool shots and design in them. Um, we will be using this picture. I. I am not your strongest soldier, okay? <laughs> I am not. I We need some football J on the cover. Don't ask, you know? It's bad for me, for real. These photo books are a bit more difficult to um, rip out because the binding is quite strong on them, but we'll get through it. <laughs> so we have one of Jay there. Let's see who's next. Next is Jake. Um, let's see, should I do this picture? That picture's cute too. Or that picture. Um, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna pick this one. I like that shot. Uh, and Hyphen's photo books are just always so, like, and TXDs too, are just, like, really aesthetically pleasing and nicely put together, um, I have to say. I really like that they, um, have just, like, good design in them, like, all these different kinds of shots and, like, how this photo book combines, like, black and white and film style photos with, like, nice, nicely shot photos, like, the combination of all of that just makes them very pleasing to look at. Um, so I do really like that. I love this picture of Nikki so much. <laughs> He's so cute. Uh, there aren't that many pictures of him that are like close up. So I think I'm just going to pick this one. The more you cut into these photo books, the easier they are to cut out though. Because these mine will start to um, flatten more and more as there's less stuff like holding it together. Um, so that's kind of nice. I like these like overlap pictures, but I just don't think they would be good for a collage personally. Let's see, yeah, these photo books are kind of a pain in the ass to deal with, but whatever. Um, then we have the new, <laughs> the new. Oh, he's so cute. Uh, which picture do I want? That one's cute, but I think I like that one the most. <sighs> yes. Doing a little unhyping collage is so easy because their photo books just, they bring me great joy. <laughs> um, okay. 
Sanu. And then we have Hisa. Let's see. I really don't personally like this picture of him. I think because the way that the sun is like hitting the top of his head. It's not my fave. So, ooh, I do like that one though. Let's use this picture. Really though, like Enhypen photo books are just, they're just meant for collaging, I have to say. Um, and using for journaling and whatever. Like you see pictures like this, they're just so like, they're so perfect because they just have such a good aesthetic to them. And these layouts, yeah, I just really like it. <laughs> um, next we have Jungwon, let's see. So there's that picture, that picture. That one's so cute, no. Can you tell that soft and hyphen is my aesthetic? Um, <laughs> yes. I feel like someone who liked darker aesthetics could really make a skill of collage work though. Like I think that could look really nice, but I just like, I like bright colors. I like light, light airy looks. I don't know. I can't help it. Okay, next we have Sun. He was really working it in this photo book. I love that picture of him holding out his hands. Mm -hmm. We are obviously not choosing that picture, sir. Check yourself. I think we'll do this one. <laughs> I really like these kind of film looking shots that are a little bit grainier. I think they look really nice. Okay, and then, um,. I guess that's everyone, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Okay. Now I'm going to choose some other shots that I like to add into it to make it a bit more interesting. Um, like look at how pretty that is. Yeah, I really love it. Their little rugby team moment. Jay. <laughs> Um, I think I'm going to use this for some background, because I think that looks nice. I hope you guys don't mind that I'm not filming with any light on. It's a bit dark outside, because it's kind of a stormy day, um, but I don't really like artificial lighting very much. I kind of, I prefer to like sit in the dark than turn on a lamp, <laughs> like a little gremlin, um... Whoops, I just kind of exposed myself there, but <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know, that's just my personal preference, so I'm like, okay, if it's a little bit darker. I usually brighten up my videos with a filter anyway, because like they usually are on the dark side, because I, um, my windows are east facing, so they don't get a lot of light, um, or my room is east facing on our house. But yeah, not much I can really do about that, obviously. And that's where all the like bedrooms are in our house, on the east side. Not facing the mountains right there. Um, is there anything else I want? I think I want one of these like sunset pictures that's in the back. See, isn't it nice how this photo book goes from like sunrise to sunset. Tell me that doesn't kind of slay. <laughs> That's not the one I want. I want, I want this one. <sighs> I love and hyphen so much. Like, I don't really talk about them a lot because, like, the engine fan base is really not my thing and it's kind of what keeps me from ulting them just because, like, I really don't like to engage in their fandom at all but I really like them as people. <laughs> I think they are so sweet and talented and yeah they're just really doing the most. Um, I feel like this calls for a little tame dash moment I have to say. Um, to me the Odysseus concept just relates so strongly to the tame dash music video with the uh, being on the beach and the rugby and whatever. Um, Tame Dash is, I think, at this point, firmly my favorite and hyphen title track, and most people say it's their least favorite, and I'm like, why? It's so good. 
like hot summer changed my life actually um <laughs> so it's kind of unfortunate to be that a lot of people don't like it but i will stand strong as a tame dash enthusiast it's okay even if i'm the only one <laughs> i'll stand strong by that so yeah but we have like all of these fun pictures to put in the background I usually like to have one thing in this corner and one thing in this corner. To me, like, that just um, is preferable to the way my eye follows things. Um, I think I'm going to put them running, like, up here. Yeah. And then I think I'm just going to cut out the pictures and the numbers and we'll work on placing them. So I'm going to get started on that now. cut out now so let's work on layering them um i kept the corner in on jungwon's picture just because i thought the way the sea looked in the background was really nice um so yeah we are just going to work on doing this <laughs> going to need the lyrics for this one either weirdly enough <laughs> uh okay so i think i pretty much want to go with something like that um for the final look i um i think doing like four and three will look nice so i think we're gonna go with that um and then i'm just going to work on pasting everything down now so give me a moment Okay, I'm back with a Tombow one. <laughs> they're, they're all kind of the same, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> For some reason, 
this collage was actively trying to fight me the whole time I was making this, but it's finally done. <laughs> so now I'm just going to add some of the album stickers and then we can slip it in the front of my binder. So here is the new and hypen binder cover collage. Um, I think it turned out really cute. The only thing I don't love is this line right here, but it's not like that big of a deal. <laughs> so yes, we can put it in the front of my binder and finally this won't look so sad because <laughs> it's looked sad for like a while now. And I'm tired of it. It's time to look cute. Okay, binder? your moment. Okay, here is our final collage. I think it looks really nice in the front of my binder. I'm very happy with it. Um, and I hope that this video was helpful if you were looking for like a collage tutorial. I don't know. It's kind of just like feeling out whatever looks good to you. Like this may look really nice to me, but someone else might absolutely hate it. So <laughs> it, it's like just a super duper subjective thing. But um, yeah, I hope kind of like what I use and whatever is helpful for you to make your own collages if that's something you've been wanting to do. And if not, I hope you just enjoyed the some like background noise for a little while um but yeah that was pretty much it for today um i hope you enjoyed if you have any other questions please leave them down below and i hope that i'll see you again soon bye <laughs> Bye.